Alright, so now that we have removed the brackets, we want to tighten this canvas up a little bit before we go into the sanding process. Even though, because I'm a master at stretching, it's pretty tight, I want to make sure it's as tight as possible. Because in the sanding process, if you push too hard with the sandpaper, it will actually touch this piece of wood, this edge here, and then you'll have a weird box inside the canvas, which is one of the other reasons why you want to use the heavy duty stretcher bars instead of the skinny ones. It's way more annoying when you're trying to gesso and sand with the skinny ones because it totally touches this piece of wood. Um, so what we have here are canvas keys. People don't know what these are. They sell them at the art store. Managers at Blick never know what the hell they are when I ask for them. I always have to ask them to get extras because my students go to like the Kingsbury Drive one. This is what they're for. The brackets are removed and then you take this bit of wood and you take something and you carefully tap them in. And what that does is it spreads the corner and makes the entire thing tighter. If you glue and screw your corners like most art students do because they're stupid, um, you'll never be able to make your canvas tighter again unless you pull all the staples later and then you have to re-tighten the whole thing. It's so dumb. This is a really good system. But you do this, I do the inside ones first, and then I do the outside ones. So I just, I'm just putting them in and then rotating. But you do that, then you sand the heck out of it uh, using 220 grit sandpaper, going like this, figure eight circles left and right, up and down, kind of carefully groove along the edges. If you sand too hard on the edges, it'll actually eat through the canvas and then your canvas won't be attached to anything, so you don't want to do that. But you do that and then you put another coat of gesso on it using a palette knife like this. Uh, the gesso that I recommend is the Liquitex uh, Surface Prep. Yeah, that's it.